love sports. I love the way playing them challenges my body. I love how sports has taught me to dig deep and persevere, and I love competing. After my time as a competitive athlete came to an end, I continued to play recreational sports, which were still pretty darn competitive. I played rec league basketball, outdoor soccer, and for a very short while, indoor soccer. I remember I was playing in just my second indoor soccer game, and it was a blast. I loved how fast paced it was, and I loved how it challenged me. We were entering into the second half of the game. I went for the ball on the left side of the court near the sideline. I had a perfect shot at the goal. I planted my right foot on the floor so I could kick the ball with my left foot when suddenly I felt a sharp pain in the back of my right leg towards my heel. I doubled over. I was convinced somebody had come up behind me and kicked me. My team immediately sent a sub in for me so I could take a moment to shake off what had happened to me. I tried running on my hurt foot. No luck. I tried walking on my hurt foot. Nothing. I set out the rest of the game, went home, and treated my leg how I would have treated any other sprained ankle. I determined that's what happened. I rested, I iced, I compressed, and I elevated it. The next morning, I woke up and the entire lower half of my leg was swollen and my foot was non-functional. To make a long story short, I finally reached out to a friend who's an ER doc and had him examine me. Within minutes, he had determined that I had completely severed my Achilles tendon, one of the most brutal leg injuries there are. I'd had surgery to reattach my Achilles tendon. I was on crutches for two months. I was in a walking cast for two months after that. And I had to undergo four months worth of physical therapy. The recovery was awful. I remember my first day in physical therapy. I was ready to go. I wanted to run again. I wanted to play sports again. I was bound and determined to make this happen. My physical therapist examined my foot and said, I want you to write the alphabet with your toes. What? Was my immediate reaction. Yeah, he said, every day, I want you to write the alphabet in the air with your toes. I knew this man was well-educated and a professional, but I thought this was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever heard of until I tried it. My first day doing my physical therapy homework was so discouraging. I could hardly move my foot around. I remember thinking, how am I ever going to run and play sports again if I can't even move my foot? And then the words my basketball coach had shared with me came into my mind. Trust the process. I realized that I needed to keep my end game goal in mind, but right now I needed to just focus on air writing the alphabet with my foot. So I did. I can't even tell you how much patience it required. Every day I did what my physical therapist told me and for a long time it felt like it wasn't working. Until one day I started to see just the slightest bit of progress. It didn't happen overnight. It required patience and discipline and trust in my physical therapist. It was over a year and a half before my foot was back to 100%, but I came back stronger as a whole person, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Nobody said it would be easy, and nobody said it would be fast. Trusting the process requires an awareness of where you wanna go, a plan to get there, dedication to that plan, and lots and lots of patience.